Yo. Yo, we're back. We're back. We're fighting the Puccina. We're fighting a Puccina in the in the field. We're in the field fighting a Puccina. We're gonna fight him with this uh with this wormple dude. That's what we're gonna do. You were shocked. You were so shocked, yo! Yo, you were so shocked you didn't know. You didn't know, yo, but now you do know. And there, that's it. That's the Puccina. He's dead. He's gone. Alright, I did it. Cool. And that did nothing for me, even though I'm low enough level to Did I take any damage there? I did, so I will heal both. Yeah, I'll go to the PC this time because it's been a while and I don't know what other nonsense happens. I know there's like a weird friendship thing that I've talked about before, but I don't really care about it because I feel like I've talked about this before. I talked about it two days, two episodes ago or, or three episodes, yeah, two episodes ago uh, when I was like, yo, I get an yo, I get enough happiness from them friendship levels because I am great at Pokemon. And that's all I have to say about that, Forrest. You know what's a good game is Undertale. I love that game so much. It rules. If you haven't played Undertale, definitely go ahead and do that. I've bought it on like every system that I own now. I have it on PC, I have it on the PlayStation 4, and I have it on the Nintendo Switch. But I haven't played it on the Nintendo Switch. I'm saving that for a special occasion. I want to play it with my girlfriend. I want her to experience that uh, firsthand. And there's a lot of weird stuff that happens when you play Undertale again because the game keeps track of how many times you've restarted and plays and plays it and characters will refer to you, Moonlight will refer to you differently depending on if you this is the first or second time you played the game or third or fourth or fifth or whatever they'll be like hey I remember you you seem like you already know this so that's kind of a spoiler I guess but it's not really so it's fine and that's that's Undertale I wanted to talk about that game because I feel like I haven't talked about how much I love Undertale enough yet. And that game is so special to me that I must uh, sing its praises every opportunity that I get. And that's an old game too. That's I've talked about this before as well, but the window of pop culture is so narrow that you just don't have time to appreciate everything. Like I discovered Undertale last year, I think, and that was in 2018, four years after it came out. Although it was the perfect time to do so because that Halloween Deltarune Chapter 1 came out and that was a very good time timing for me because I was still riding the high of Undertale and then that happened and I was like, oh, cool. So yeah. Anyway, how are you guys doing? I would love to, uh, here's, so what do you guys think about Mr. Red Plays, the channel? I have been thinking a lot about the show and the future of the show and what I want for the future of the show. And what I'd like is to be able to have a studio of my own. I'd like to have a place that's moonlight, moonlight, I see moonlight, Illumise too. And he's using Moonlight too. And I think to Wormpole, I hate Moonlight. Hell yeah, dude. Okay, so now my voice is completely shredded, but I will continue talking about a studio. I want a place that I can go where I can record these episodes in peace. Now, I'm at peace now because no one's in the building, but at the same time, Microsoft unveils a disc-free all-digital Xbox console. I say that because console. I say that because I just got a Twitter notification. Even though damn Twitter, I keep checking the thing that says see less often when it comes to news and stuff, and I feel like I've gone in my preferences and said I don't care about these things and I don't want to know about them, and yet and yet, I keep getting notifications from Twitter across various accounts that I own saying, hey, news, or someone you follow posted this thing or liked someone else's tweet. I don't care. I say see less often. I want to see never often. That's when I want to see it. Studios. So to do that, I need money. So to do that, patreon.com slash mrredplays. For as little as $1 a month, you could put your name, your own very name at the end of every single episode as you're about to see. Well, uh, you'll see at the end of this video, there will be names. There will be names. And at the same time, if you do $5 per month, you gain that as well as an exclusive weekly 5 to 10 minute long audio podcast that I do that comes out every week. It's called It's a Setup, and it's where I set up the stream. My attack won't go lower. Not using Moonlight in a while. That's good, but I might have jinxed myself. No tackle. That's fine. $10 a month. 
you can gain access to an exclusive thread monthly, which you can post as many times as you want, by the way. I don't know if I've ever made that clear. You can make as many posts in that thread as you want, but the long and short of it is that you can tell me what to talk about when I don't have things to say. Previously, I've used things like uh, comments to fill the time. Burp, excuse me. But... Uh, also, I want the comments to be like a kind of incentive thing for people to leave comments because I feel like if people uh, watch an episode and they see their own comments said and they see other people's comments being read and said out loud and bed and led and Fred and Jed, uh, other worms that rhyme with Ed, like Ned, like Ned Star Game of Thrones, no, um, d- then they will want to comment more and people will comment. And I like comments. I like reading them. I get notifications whenever I get a comment and it makes me very happy. I also get notifications when people uh, sign, I mean, subscribe. For example, MechaDragon563 is subscribed to you on YouTube. That's awesome. That is such a cool name. MechaDragon. I like it. You know what's annoying to me, by the way, is when people uh, have, it's not when people have names, usernames with numbers in them. That's not my annoyance. My annoyance is when people make jokes about where, oh, was Mecha Dragon 500, I mean, 1 through 562 taken? Uh, ha, 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 ha. No, obviously, nobody ever names their thing like, oh, I'm going to say Mr. Red, Mi- uh, Mr. spelled it the long way, Red 1. Oh, that's taken. 2. Oh, that's taken. 3. Oh, that's taken. Etc. Instead, they say, hey, it's going to be Mr. Red. Obviously, that's going to be taken because that's very simple. And then, oh, the next one is uh, Mr. Red 23. And then, oh, that's taken too. Oh, Mr. Red 23, 42. Oh, that is not, that is not taken. That's there. So then, uh, subscribe uh, on Twitter at Mr. Spelled it the long way, Red 2342. That was all a shameless plug for my personal Twitter account. But if you want to follow the show, that's Mr. Spelled Out the Long Way Red Prod, P R O D. And we also have a Facebook page, Facebook.com slash Mr. Red Productions. And a Patreon, Patreon.com slash Mr. Plays. So that's about it. I am thirsty for books. I want to read books more. I, I, I really do wish that I had more time to read. And I know that everybody says they don't have time to read, but then. Uh, people get mad at them because they're like, obviously, you do have time to read. You just have to stop doing other things. And I don't want to stop doing the sad attack. You know what? I do want to stop doing this. Last episode. Bye, everybody. No, we're back. I'm just joshing you. I'm just j you. I'm just j you. you. J-O-ing. We're just J-O-ing together. That's all this is. Uh, if you are a family member listening to this, then tune out for that last sentence. But if you are not, then hey. Uh, so here's the thing. I was in the middle of a sentence and now I don't remember. What, I distracted myself reading. I am reading a book right now that I'm trying to finish, but I just don't have time. And I'm excited because I'm in school, by the way. I've, I've mentioned that before. I'm in college for. Oh, have I talked about what I'm in college for? I don't think that I have. Mechanical engineering. That's what I'm in school for. I'm going to be an engineer, uh, but I'm also going to be a YouTuber. So that's fun. That's a fun little uh, combo combination. Uh, the point is, uh, that takes up most of my time. I'm either at work, or I'm at school, or I'm studying slash doing homework. And in the very thin margins of that, I do this show. And that's basically all my time. I try to, like, watch movies and TV shows and keep up on pop culture, but that's rare. But school's gonna be ending soon, and that's gonna be fun, and that's gonna give me more time to do stuff. Maybe I'll be able to do more stuff for the channel. But I also don't want to set stuff up that I'm going to have to tear down later, like when I go back to school, and then I'll have to be like, okay, now I'm not doing two episodes every day again, like I wanted to. Also, that's a goal on Patreon. I don't know if I should do that when it's still a goal on Patreon. That's going to be weird. We'll cross that bridge when we come to it. The point is, I will definitely be reading a lot more once that's done. Also, I'm going to read... I've read the Game of Thrones books over and over again. I've actually, I think I've read them like three or maybe four times, including like audiobook listens and everything. Definitely, if the final book is ever announced, and hopefully it's been announced before this episode comes out, in which case, hey, uh, I'm definitely going to take time off work and I'm going to read the entire series again. And then I'm, well, I might not take time off work to do that, but in the run-up to that episode coming out, I'm going to do that. And then I'm definitely going to call into work sick. And if you are an employer of mine listening, don't listen for the last uh, couple of minutes. But I'm going to take time off work and I'm just going to binge read that. I might, it, so I'm assuming there will be like a midnight release for that book. And because that's, I don't know how books work in general, but I think they do that, especially for big popular ones. 
and I'm going to get out of work the day before, go to bed and sleep until like half an hour before or whatever I need to be there or whatever. Then I will get the book, come home, read the book all day, all night, until I physically can't read anymore and my eyes bleed. And that will be my life when the winds of winter is blow. How poetic was that? Ew, that's the, la- that's the next Game of Thrones book. I have hope. I'm optimistic that it'll come out. I think that it will. I don't. There are a lot of theories, and there's a lot of people, a lot of negative Nancys saying that it will. Nancy, guys, by the way, I watched every single Nightmare on Elm Street movie. That was a that was a feat. That was a that was a journey that I took. Can I say something controversial that I know uh, a lot of people, especially horror people, are gonna hate me for? I'm gonna. I have a controversial opinion here and say that. There's never been a good Nightmare on Elm Street movie. I've seen every single one, and there are some that have really good moments, and there are some that have pretty good scares and sequences and everything, but I didn't love any of them, and I remember being super horrified by them when I was a wee little tyke, and now, I don't know, I'm just so hardened and, uh, 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 you know, uh, worn down by horror that I'm just, everything that I see is just like, hey, I'm gonna kill ya, I'm Freddy Krueger, and I'm just like, uh, cool. I was hurt by poison, so that's the real horror. Uh, but I want to be scared by them. I want to watch these movies and be like, ooh, I'm freaked out. I'm never going to go to sleep again. Instead, I'll watch these movies right before bed and be like, I'm tired. Go to sleep. Don't even worry about it. So I don't know if that's a benefit or a plus. I want to enjoy the movies the way they're intended to be enjoyed. I want to be scared of them. I don't want to be a hardened, cynical uh, J-hole, but that's just how it friggin' is. So... I don't know what to do about that. Guys, this has been an eclectic episode. Thank you for watching. If you want to tune in in two days' time, you can do that, and there'll be more exciting Warpole adventures, or tomorrow there'll be more shovel adventures. And uh, with that, I bid you all a hearty goodbye.